Hello there, I'm Eric Renault, and this is a video for tipsquirrel.com. It's the free website for all things Adobe. In this video, we're going to use a couple of techniques to make a 3x3 grid of photos to take through to Instagram. Now, the first one is going to be using Bridge, which is going to be OK, or Lightroom. But the second one might surprise you. We're going to be using XD, and it is perfect for the job. Right, let's jump in and see what's what. So here I've got my nine images. And what I might be tempted to do here is to go to output and then change this to a custom here. And let's go to pixels and 1080p by 1080. There we go. And then we want to come down to the grid and do three by three and there we go now i can change the width of the cells there and the margins and all that kind of stuff but just for the sake of speed i'm not going to do that right now but i'm going to take these nine images and just drop them onto the canvas and there we go now the reason why i don't like this is this is really for a contact sheet so what it's doing is absolutely perfect now i could turn the text off by the way but you'll see that some of them are squares and some of them are portrait, some of them are landscape. So it doesn't really work. And what I'd like to do maybe for that one right in the middle of the Highland cow there, I might want to crop that in a bit and just have a bit more of the, the cow as being the focus. So it doesn't give me a lot of flexibility. Let's go over to XD. Now, if you haven't come across XD before, this is experience design from Adobe and it's still in beta, but it's already incredibly powerful. Now you can see here from the startup screen, that it's really designed for making prototypes of uh, iPhone apps or Android apps or even websites. So we're not using it for its strict purpose, but actually XD is extremely useful for all kinds of jobs. Okay, I'm gonna make this full screen and I'm gonna to choose to make a web page just because that's the easiest one to go for here. Okay, let's go control zero just to make sure it's fitting on screen and do some housekeeping. Let's first of all rename this and I'm gonna call this, uh, let's call it Insta9. There we go. And I'm gonna make this 1080p by 1080. There we go, control zero to fit it back on screen. All right, let's go and get a square now, and I'm gonna draw a square out. And just like with other applications, if I hold the shift key down, it constrains it to a perfect square. And I'm not taking any kind of consideration of how big this is at all. All I want is a square. All right, now then, what I want to do is have nine of these, and this is one of the powerful features of XD. We have up here a repeat grid. So if I click on that, I get some green handles. If I draw this one out, we then have some more squares. And I can keep going, but actually all I want is three. And then I can go down two and three. That looks good to me. All right, now with that highlighted, I can then center that. We're ready to go. Now my cursor is hovering around there and you can see that I get this purple line. Just by clicking and dragging, I can dynamically change the distance between all the squares. I can also go into the square and change the size of that too. So I can bring that out and you'll see that they all change together, all dynamically. So if I bring these a little bit closer together, make them a bit bigger, I better press the shift key, make sure I can strain it. I can then come into the square there, the grid, and I can again just resize these as I will. I'm going to center those up. There we go. Now my images, I'm gonna go back to bridge, but we can drag these from anywhere to be honest with you. So here we go, let's take these nine, take them onto XD, drop them in any one of the squares and hello cheeky, there we go. All done for me and in the squares. So this one here you may remember was a portrait. I can take that up just by double clicking it and then I can reposition that exactly as I want it. The cow here, I wanted more of the cow. So let's double click that and then drag that out. Again, holding shift to constrain it. Take it outside the bounding box, bring it inside where I want it and then just click away. And now I've got it how I wanted it to. There's a couple of others here. That one's a landscape. 
so I can drag that where I want it, a bit more of the island there. And this one too, I can move my son Daniel there just to one side. Easy as that. Now, if I wanted to, I can adapt these even further. You may have noticed I've got up in the corners or in the corners, these dots. If you've used uh, Photoshop and Illustrator of late, you'll recognize these. These can make rounded corners for you. So I can just drag those in and I can make rounded corners. I want them too rounded really, just a, just a little bit, just to square them off. Good. And strangely now, I think they're too far apart. So I'm going to make sure that the grid is highlighted and then I can come in and change my width there as well. There we go. And again, just center those. And there we go. Okay, let's go up to the burger menu, go export, and then all artboards, there's only the one. I can take that out as a PNG. I can choose my uh, export to posts and nine, that's fine. That's exactly where I, want, where I wanted it. And export all artboards. And if we go back to bridge, you can see here that I've got my Insta9 here. Let's go to film strip and we can see that nicely. Whoops, a daisy. There we go, let's make that big again. And there it is, all ready to go into Instagram. By the way, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Eric Reno. Come along, say hello. All right, there we go, that's that. Now in the next video, I'm going to use the XD again, but next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these headshots and I'm going to put them into a grid of 20. That's a four by five grid. We already know how to do that, but then we're gonna fancy it up a little bit and we're gonna end up with this, which we can then save out and take into Acrobat and do whatever we want to it. All right, I'm Eric Renault. Thank you very much for joining me here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss another video and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye for now.